Hey guys, welcome back to Revival Mail. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to do something that's much needed on the Rotopack system. So as you'll see here on the Rotopack, I've got this lock here. It's kind of bouncy, makes a little bit of racket. And I got this nice one, that really nice. Now I really like this about the Rotopack is that the lock is integral to the system and it doesn't come out. It's nice and tight, it doesn't bounce, it's, it's in there. But here's the problem. This right here, see that? That is a failed Rotopax lock. The tumblers failed, they locked up, and I couldn't get it out. It was actually on the water, and I couldn't get it out. It's been stuck in there for, for six months or more. Haven't been able to get, barely could get this thing out. I finally managed to, to unbolt it from the other system I had it installed on and um, maneuvered it around. I went ahead and installed this right here, and this right there is called a Gorilla Clamp. And here's a gorilla clamp. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So if you have one of these stuck in there, you're going to have to drill through until you get the guts out, out and you'll, you'll be able to pull this pull this out from the hole. And and there you go. So in order to install this, what we're going to do is we're going to take this off and tear this thing apart. But stay tuned for this. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So, okay, so first thing you gotta do is you gotta take your original one out. If um, if you're having problems, like this one is still giving me a little bit of, oh, I got the wrong key, but it's still it's still a little tricky sometimes. I did was able to spray this one down. They were both locked up at one time, and I was able to spray them down and get it working. Um, but it is a pain, and I'm just gonna go ahead and swap the system out. So these. These replacement things, right now, they're, they're back ordered from Motopacks. You can't even really find them. If you do find them, they're like $30 or $40. Um, and you know they're going to fail because that's why you're buying them, because they failed. This um, Gorilla clamp is 18 something. Um, and I found it on eBay. So you're going to take the lock out. You're going to go ahead and you're going to take this. <coughs> gonna take, excuse me, you're going to take this all the way out. You leave your leave your jug hanging there. And pull this all the way out. Now you can buy the um, system that doesn't have the lock, and I believe it only has the outside the outside piece. So what we need we need to utilize the outside piece, but we don't want the inside locking locking ring, and that's where the the lock normally goes into the system. Normally goes through here into this and locks inside there. There's like a little step in there. And that's where we're going to eliminate this. So I think if you just buy the rotor pack with the non-lock, it's just the outside, I believe. Um, but what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put a, um, a socket in there and take this apart. So it's easy enough to do. And all we're going to do is we've got to get a, a 13 um, deep well socket. We're going to put it on right there. And we're just going to get going the right way. I'm just going to pull that nut out, drop the socket. There was barely enough room to catch that, so I didn't have a good bite. Um, pull that nut all the way off the back like that. So then, slide it back here, take your nut all the way off, pull this piece off. So it just leaves you with this T-handle piece. Um, if you want to go buy the one without the hole in there, go for it, but I'm not, I don't care. Um, so then, what we're going to do is we're going to put it right back on the way we had it. We're just going to run it down. Use that hole to kind of turn with your finger. Until you lock it in nice and tight. And it's good enough. That's good enough. Okay, so you're gonna open up your kit. Open up the kit. Comes with a gorilla clamp sticker that you see right there. Nice little gorilla clamp sticker. And then it has three pieces. So there's three pieces here. There's an outer hasp. And then there's two pieces right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to 
put this around the, the bolt. You're going to connect this on right here like that and close it. And then this piece goes right there, right in there. So your holes match up and your lock goes through there. So simple as that. Very easy to do. We're just going to put it in, put the bigger end in first. Put it right behind that. So it's grabbing it. I'm going to hook this piece on the other side. I'm going to take you in here so we can get a little bit closer look. Okay, so we got you in for a little bit closer look. So as you guys will see, just take this piece here and you put it. This is going to go in that bolt right there like that. Hooked on. Take this piece right here. Catch it on the back just like that and just close it. Okay, take your hasp cover. Put it right there. Find your lock. And voila, you can't get it off. It won't turn. This keeps it from turning. You can't get it off. It's it's more secure than the other ones, to be honest. I mean, somebody could break this like they could. If they really want it, they can unbolt it from the back. But we're just trying to keep people somewhat honest. And that's it, guys. That is the Gorilla Clamp. Um, I don't have any affiliation with these people. I just happened to be looking for an alternative system and found it on eBay. I'll leave a link for, below for it. Um, I'll leave whatever links I can find. Like I said, like $18 and change versus $30 or $40 for replacement the thing. So I would say this is a good buy. I'm pretty happy with this. Looks okay. It's not bad looking. And uh, maybe a little rattly, but who gives a crap? Anyway, guys, I really appreciate it. Please check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, TikTok. Yep. And here, hit like and subscribe. I really appreciate it, guys. And as always, peace out.